Turn around while cooking and elbow your entire spice rack right into your tracks of stew. Well, oh boy, I got a green spicy meatball here for you. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the transfer where Timmy, Johnny, and Spike battle over all things EDH. On this episode of Deck Text by Timmy, here with your host Juan, we're going to be brewing an attraction list for our Battle of the Brews. But first, please like to let us know here at the transfer that you enjoy these brews and want more, and subscribe so you never miss out on our gameplay and brews. And so you never miss a vid, hit the bell icon to be notified when new vids are up. Alright, so for the Battle of the Brews, it is as you may have guessed, a tracks of Praetor's voice and she is a flying life leaking vigilance, death touching cause she wasn't annoying before, proliferator, which for those of you who are new to the game means she can target any number of players or permanents with counters on them and add another just like them. Like you know, plus one plus one, nego nego, and the most important of all, infect, and she can hit as many as she wants. So, I'll be building an Infect deck, but not any Infect deck, an Infect deck revolving around the green meatball himself Putrefax. It's a 5 mana, 3 generic, 2 green, 5 3 haste trampling Infect. Unfortunately though, he does sack himself at the beginning of the end step. But don't worry my fellow Timmies, I have a plan to get around this. First things first though, we gotta get the meatball and the rest of the meal ready, with ramp. Soul Ring, Civic Signet, Selesnya Signet, and Golgari Signet is gonna be our artifact ramp. All of them really good in the deck, especially since when we get mana screwed, they can help us fix it. Avacyn's Pilgrim, Elves of Deep Shadow, Lana Rare Elves, Deathrite Chum, Birds of Paradise, and Noble Hierarch will all help us ramp on that turn one play, and some of them give us a little extra bonus effects. Ramping Growth, Secure Tribe Elder, Farseek, and Nature's Lore all will help us ramp and find lands we need. But don't forget to share the amazing spice and pass the infect <coughs> love around with Caress of New Phyrexia, Corrupted Conscience, Ink Moth Nexus, Scythrus the Blight Dragon, and Blighted Agent. All of which give infect in some way or another and will keep our opponents on their toes and us in the lead. Now on to the card draw, because the worst thing that could happen would be letting our soup get cold. Beast Whisperer, Guardian Project, both draws cards by our creature spells, one by getting cast, the other one by ETBs. Rishkar's Expertise, six mana draw spell, seems a lot, but drawing four or five cards and then casting a card five mana or less for free is always a great rate. Silver Library, look at the top three cards, pick one or keep all of them, losing four life for each minus the first one. It says there's a game with four mana, sorcery speed, but we can play two life and only pay three and draw two cards and we also get the proliferate. Now on to protecting our mail in some way or another with Shalai Voice of Plenty, Spellskite, and Grand Abolisher. All of which will hopefully keep future facts safe in some way or another. And if they dare talk or think or even touch your bowl with their dirty spike and Johnny hands, you ruin theirs. The cards like Anguish I'm making, Boomerang, Crush Contraband, Forsake the Worldly, Cross and Grip, Seal of Removal, Swords of Plowshares, Unsummon, and Viridian Corruptor. And also our boy Scavenger News. Just get it all. Get it all. And some of those will help us get future facts back into our hand. Bigger, bigger meatballs are always better with cards like Berserk. Duelist Heritage, Hatred, Invigorate, or Silverblade Paladin, all of which buff our future facts with either double strike or just straight up damage. Seconds, thirds, fourths? Alright guys, so we're at the point where we start recurring our green meatball with cards like Animate Dead, Karmic Guide, Footsteps of the Gorio, Reanimate, Phyrexian Delver, Phyrexian Reclamation, Unburial Rights, getting them either back to our hand or back to the battlefield, preferably back to the battlefield. Now getting him into the graveyard from our deck, we got Buried Alive and Tomb and Gerard's Orders. And then getting him from our deck onto the battlefield or into our hands, we got Demonic Tutor, Green Sun Zenith, Protein Hulk, Summoner's Pack, and Survival of the Fittest. And the copier guy, we've got Lazal the Multifarious, Renegade Double Ganger, and Body Double. And just in case, God forbid, he gets exiled, we got Rift Sweeper just to put him right back into the deck. Alright guys, the land base for this will be your assortment of fetches, duels, and shocks because four color commanders are always taxing on the mana base. I know, I know, where's the spice? There's always spice. I knocked an entire rack of spice into this deck. Look at it. This deck is spicy as hell. Alright guys, thanks for joining me on this deck tech. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on brews and gameplays. And remember, it's all about sending a message.